In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down a nice one play touchdown against cover three. This is also a really good route that can beat every defense in the game and specifically is really good against man to man and zone coverages, um, especially when the defense is giving you a little bit more time in the pocket. This route is going to be really powerful. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now, if you're new to my channel, maybe you don't know, I post four videos a day, every single day, on my YouTube channel uh, with different tips and strategies that you can use to improve your offense and your defense in Madden 21. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. But I would also like you to consider joining my text message membership. My text message membership is completely free to any and everyone who want to join. It's very, very simple. It's a way for us to connect via text, right? And uh, my cell phone number is 812-216-3644. Now, all you have to do to sign up for this is just shoot me a text message, right? It is my personal cell phone number, so I will uh, respond myself to you as soon as I get your text. But here's what I want you to know. Every single week in our text message membership, we release exclusive high-level, pro-level schemes, offenses, and defenses that you can use to better yourself as a Madden player, right? We've, in the last uh, couple of, I think we've been doing this for about nine weeks, so we've broken down nine schemes. Some of the highlights are the gun U-trips, Pats formation, the gun a slot offset, the gun bunch, the gun split close, um, the big nickel over G, as well as many other formations that you're seeing uh, right now in competitive Madden, as well as some of my own stuff as well. So if you want to get those high level tactics and schemes, I would highly encourage you just to shoot me a text message. It's completely free for you to sign up. Literally, all you got to do is pull your phone out, shoot me a text. My number's in the description. It's also in the top left hand corner of every video that I do. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go in <clears throat> and I want to talk about how you can beat cover three okay specifically what we're going to do is we're going to talk how you can beat this from um just a basic and you'll see right here we're going to come out and dime one four six cover three scott now the play we're going to be using is bench pivot and all we're going to do is we want to make sure we're on the left side hash mark because we're on our bunch to the wide side of the field and so what you're going to see right here is all we're going to do is we're going to take our slot receiver and we're going to put him on a streak route. That's the only adjustment. And then from there, I just like to slide protect uh, wherever it is that I want to go. So, Because as you see here, um, the pressure from Dime 146 is brutal, right? So you might have to motion over your back and block him. Uh, we'll just do that here just to be safe from this blitz. Uh, but basically what you'll notice is Godwin, when he comes up the seam, if that safety is coming from right to left, you're going to see that you're going to have a decent chance at hitting this over the top. Now, if the corner drops back like he did there, which it doesn't always happen that way. In fact, most of the time he's not going to drop back, especially if they press coverage. But if that happens, you'll see that this tight end is going to be wide open to the outside. Now, what I like about that is that tight end is going to be open against really any zone drop depth. So, for example, let's say that they um, are running, you know, 25-yard, you know, purples or 25-yard cloud flats. You're going to see it's still going to be very consistently a, a wide open read. For your offense now let me show you something else that we can do out of this um that i like we're going to show it show it to you against man here in just a moment but i want to show you this is against 25 yard uh shade and we'll just show you this real quick so you'll see here these cloud flats are dropping back and you see all you got to do is low pass it if they're dropping those cloud flats back just a simple low ball will be just fine the other thing i really like about this is if you have a good tight end now it might not be the case with the bucks just because the route running is not exactly there for gronk but if you have a good route running advantage, you're going to see he's going to get that little speed burst to the outside. If that's Chris Cooley and Mutt or a better route running tight end, that is going to be very consistently one of your best routes on this um, on this playbook. Now, the other thing I really like, and like I said before, um, I find that you – I'm sorry, I accidentally put him on a crossing route. But I find that that streak route to that slot receiver will actually do a pretty good job at getting open in, in cover three situations. Um, specifically, as you'll see right here, I'm going to get – gonna have to climb the pocket but right in that little window right there as you see now if they drop back obviously you're just gonna take your corner route on that side one other thing that you can do with this is you can actually streak Miller as well you don't just have to streak the slot you can streak the outside guy and what's really really nice is you'll see there he goes down that time and as you can see that's the cover three beater that I'm talking about so if they're running cover three to that right side to that bunch side you're gonna be able to hit it um, over the top now, if the safety is on that side, which you'll see here, this deep blue safety is going to be on that cover three side. Same type of thing, but as you can see here, the safety is going to drop back, and he's going to play it. So just understand and be aware that if that safety is on that hash, you know, you don't want to hit that. Really what you want to do 
in that situation is you just want to check down to your tight end and your tight end is going to be um, your, your tight end is going to be money. Now, right there, um, it was primarily because, and this is where I would say one of the things you want to make sure that you're doing with, with your with your other guy, especially if you're going to think that they're going to be in some kind of coverage, right? You're just going to want to make sure that you're running a flood concept. So put him on a, an out route or a zig or, you know, you could do a little bit of everything here. But I really like the route to, um, to Miller as your little flat route here. But then what's really nice is you also have this backside dig, and that backside dig is going to get – in a tender place against pretty much any defense in the game. So this play really does kind of have it all, especially if you take your back. And I actually like to put him, if I want to send five out, I'll put the back on a little ghost route. And you'll find that this ghost route is really, really underrated. Um, I learned this from Ape, watching the Ape play last night in the clubs, but the ghost route does a really, really good job at getting in some tender places against a lot of defenses and still does a really, really good job of pulling zones down uh, in some situations where he needs to do that. So, that is the bench pivot play from Gun Bunch. It's in several different Gun Bunches. Um, you can run it out of Carolina. You can run it out of the Raiders playbook. Those are two of the most popular. So I'd encourage you to check that stuff out. If you want to get our full Gun Bunch offense um, out of the Carolina P Panthers playbook, we got an over hour breakdown on it for our text message members. So again, all you got to do to pick it up, shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. We'll see you guys tonight on stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you later tonight.